Your body has three primary energy systems. The first is the phosphocreatine system, which is zero to 10 seconds of max effort. The glycolytic system, 10 to 20 seconds of high intensity work. And the oxidative system, longer sustained efforts. Most wrestlers train each system separately. Sprints for power, middle distance intervals for anaerobic capacity, and long runs for aerobic base. But here's what they miss, the transitions between these systems. In a match, you explode for a shot using your phosphocreatine system, then hand fight for 40 seconds using your glycolytic system, then circle for position during the whole match using your oxidative system. Each transition creates metabolic turbulence, a brief period where your body is shifting gears and efficiency drops. This is often why you feel sudden waves of fatigue during a match. Elite wrestlers train these transitions specifically. They use interval protocols that stress the metabolic shifts. Eight seconds of maximum effort, then 35 seconds of moderate work, then 90 seconds of lower intensity. Repeat it until the body learns to shift smoothly. This is why some wrestlers seem to have a second wind. They've trained their metabolic systems to change without stumbling. So don't just train your systems, train the switches between them.